Hey, today's Thursday, December 17th. We were just walking up here on the Park City Ridge Line. Scott's Peak is right behind us, and the radio towers are right over here. And when we got to the ridge, just walking along, we got a big collapse, and we looked over the side, and we saw this big avalanche that we had triggered. That's a major red flag when we get these remotely triggered avalanches. So we triggered it from some distance away. <clears throat> What ha what's happening is we got a big storm, as most of you know, early in the week. It put a lot of snow in town, and that pushed the snowpack kind of close to its edge. But what really tipped the scales was last night, Wednesday night, we just got a few more inches, about a foot over near Alta, probably about five inches here, and we got wind. And that was just enough to tip the scales. And you can see these weak facets down here. Basically, uh, from about here up is the new snow from this week. And these weak facets are having to support that. The tricky thing is that on different slopes, some are right next to their, right at their breaking point. Others were not so sure. And there's not necessarily a lot of natural activity that you're gonna see. You may not get a lot of collapsing and cracking, but most slopes are somewhere near their breaking point, And we just don't know with all of them exactly where they're at. So. It's a big heads up. If you see someone skiing a slope or you think it's stable, it's probably pretty close to that, that tipping point and uh, it might be worth uh, taking a, uh, picking a low angle line.